live from the Duncan Latte Lounge. It's Shelly Rowe, and welcome to our virtual Duncan Latte Lounge. We have a special guest joining us. You are Canadian, right, girl? Yes, I am. At just 20 years old, a pop star on the rise with millions of streams and a full cover album under her belt earlier this year. Actually, her cover of Have a Little Faith in Me was featured on American Idol. She's got a new song out now called Exes. Please welcome Olivia Penalva. Hi. Thanks for having me. I'm clapping for you because you got my last name right. <laughs> you know what? I, I hear it, and then I want to go back to the way that it looks yeah. It's okay. Growing up, everybody that, like, every performance I ever did, there'd even be signs with the names on them, and mine was always spelt or pronounced wrong. So I'm used to <laughs> What are some of the ways that people would say your name? Oh, man. Penalua. People, like, flip the V to a U, which really? is random um and then and then uh pen penalava i penalava I can't penalava is how i wanted to say it <laughs> yeah, no i've i've heard it all so it's kind of funny <laughs> that's awesome well welcome um we're so happy to have you in our latte lounge of course you're going to be performing for us in just a little bit we're really excited about that but first we want to get to know you mm -hmm. a little bit um so you're a singer you're a songwriter um, talk to me about what it was like just being an artist growing up in Canada because we have so many um, pop stars, so many uh, huge celebrities who come to us by way of Canada. How, how, what was that like for you? What was that experience for you and how has it sort of shaped who you are as an artist? I think it's really cool because the one thing I've always loved about Canada is the support ever since I was young and I first started and even locally. I mean, I come from a very small town, so um, the support right away from my community was incredible. But even early on when I would start to try to put music out to Canadian radio, I would have such incredible support and feedback which I think is so amazing. And and I mean, there's, there's so many amazing artists that have come out of Canada. And uh, yeah, it's just the support, I think, is like one of the biggest things. And, and it's just very exciting. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I've, no, I've heard, that a lot. I've heard that a lot from Canadian artists that uh, they do feel the love from, you know, their communities and from, you know, their hometowns. Um, and I think that's really cool. And I think it's really encouraging, you know? A hundred percent is because when you're 11 years old and you're performing at 7 a.m. somewhere for the first time and you have people you've never met before that have never heard you sing cheering you on and, and sitting there and listening is, is one of the coolest things. And so I feel like that definitely did impact, you know, how I kept performing and kept going because it's it's not an easy thing to do. It's nerve wracking to get up in front of people and and the local support was always so amazing. It, and like you said, it also makes you want to continue. Maybe when you're having a moment where you're like, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it, you know. Um, also, do you remember seeing some of the, the you know, or the big artists who are from Canada or like Justin and Drake? And obviously there's so many that are, you know, slipping my mind right now. I'm going like, oh, my God, if they can do it, I can do it. Do you remember having that feeling? I remember the first one I can really think back on was Alessia Cara because I loved her voice and you know in my head I'm like oh my god she's so close to where I live kind of but yeah. you know the, the fact that she was from Canada and so talented and and I loved her music and her first song here it's funny when it came out I, I was like oh that's a song I wish I had written um, she's so talented and so to see her do well just it inspired me so much and uh, we'll see what happens with my career but uh, yeah. okay. that's definitely somebody to sort of watch and you know yeah. navigate like you know totally she's she's done it right mm -hmm. um, so okay so let's talk about your musical journey sort of growing up do you remember your first musical memory when you kind of were like I love this I can do this or yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard because I was I was pretty young when I kind of figured out that this is what I wanted to do. And I, I remember growing up and my siblings both are actually like pretty decent at singing as well. And I had an older sister, so I remember we'd be we'd always be singing together. And, and I as the middle child, she'd be like, no, you stop. I'm singing now. But I remember at the time being like, oh, I guess it's not for me. And then one day we were sitting in the car. We were all singing together. And my mom turns around and tells my siblings, 
wait quiet for a second and has me keep singing and and she looks at me she's like you're actually good in my head I was like it went straight to my head because I was like really and before that I'd never ever considered you know pursuing it in any sort of way I was 11 and um I just went for it all of a sudden that like boosted my confidence and I went for it and I started you know entering in local competitions and that was kind of like the catalyst for all of this Wow, that's cool that your mom like heard yeah. something in you and that just getting that support is kind of what pushed you to do it. I mean, that's, not, that's kind of rare. No, you don't really hear stories like that. You sort of hear a lot of stories where, you know, kids are begging their parents to be like, Mom, this is what I want to do. I'm going to show you. It's kind of refreshing um, to hear that. Yeah, it's fun because I I think they were kind of shocked too at first that I when I told them like, hey, I've, I want to do lessons like I've I'm entering in this local competition um, for young artists. They were kind of like, oh, you're going on stage because I, I love to sing. But before that, like I'd never, ever done anything like that. So I think for them, it was a bit uh, they you know, they, they had heard me sing. They knew I loved it, but they were just like, OK, she's going for it. Like, we'll help her get there. And. And that was so fun. And so they took me to my first, you know, competition and cheered me on and, and it went, uh, it was so much fun. Oh, that's so cool. So now fast forward to what? A couple years later, you're here, you're doing it, you're putting out songs. Um, and uh, you actually have, a, you released a cover album, right? Yeah, a while back. I don't remember exactly what year it was, but I've been doing YouTube covers since I was 14, I think 13. Um, and I just picked all my favorite ones that I had done and I decided to put them up on Spotify. I mean, and people are people like really took to them, like people were enjoying them and yeah, no, it's really, it's definitely really cool because those are, you know, some of my favorite songs and to see other people loving my version, like, for example, um, Callum Scott, You Are The Reason, I did a cover of that one and I remember it was, I did it at a time when the algorithm of YouTube was kind of changing, so in my head, I, I, my covers weren't performing as well as they used to in the past because YouTube was huge. Now all of a sudden, you know, you have TikTok and all these other platforms, people are kind of, they want 60 second videos instead yeah. of longer. But at the, that time, I remember saying this song, like, I love this song. This will this will be my YouTube comeback video. And then all of a sudden it was like overnight, it had like two million views. And and that was the biggest I'd, support, I guess, on a cover I'd ever gotten on YouTube in all the years I had been doing it. And so that was super exciting because, I mean, it's not my music, but I put a lot of love and work into yeah. it. Yeah, it's really so, cool. How, how did your song end up on American Idol? Like, tell us that story. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I think at the time they had reached out to my manager and um, they had told me that they wanted to play the song, which was honestly one of the coolest things for me because growing up, I remember when I lived in Vancouver, I would um, go and watch American Idol with my parents, with my siblings. We'd all cuddle up in bed and we'd watch it together. And and I loved the show. And, and so to have my music on it, even though I'm like not a contestant, it was just like the coolest thing and and it was also during a moment that was so special for somebody else so i was able to actually connect with the girl that was singing at the time when my song played and um it was just really cool to talk to her and and kind of have that first moment together of how cool is this oh i love that that's really sweet yeah your stories are kind of paralleling in their own ways i mean you're both yeah. you know having your own journeys on the rise that's pretty sweet it's really cool um, all right so your new song x is is yes. <laughs> um, talk talk about it. It's a little like badass, sassy. Like, what are we what are we talking about here? Explain explain what it means. <laughs> Definitely the most kind of sassy, cheeky song on that will be on my album. I, uh, you know, most of my songs are like super raw and honest and about things that I'm going through. And this song in particular, it's so funny because when I released it the day I released it, everyone I know is texting me like, whose boyfriend did you steal? I was going to ask you, I'm like, tell me the story. <laughs> like, I didn't, I promise. I like, I would have told you if I did, I didn't. Um, but it was just funny, everyone reaching out. And I think that's like the fun part about songwriting is you can tell any story in this one, you know, it was kind of just putting myself into someone else's shoes. And I feel like at, you know, in any stage, I guess, of anybody's life, we make mistakes and, and do things that hurt other people when we don't mean to. And sometimes feelings are stronger than logic. And um, so that was kind of where that song came from. And it's it's so much fun. And I think as soon as we wrote it, I knew I was like, okay, I have to share this because it's just fun and cheeky. And 
Yeah. And I'm sorry. Sometimes it feels good to be a little bad. <laughs> True. And I guess, like, if anyone who knows me knows I'm, like, not – like kind of like badass like that I guess so for me that way it's like super fun to play the part of of somebody else and I mean I I was trying to find a way I could relate to the song and we joked that in eighth grade I I started dating a boy that my friend had dated before and I remember coming up to me and being like hey like that's not cool I dated him and I was like sorry (laughs) at the time I was you know in seventh grade I really liked him and he's still my boyfriend to this day so is he you see see that's the thing and like you know you guys you can't like you can't um fight fate like obviously the circuit first of all you're in seventh grade and you don't really know better or you're not like i think you don't think your intentions are like super evil and second of all clearly you guys were meant to be like clearly your friend and him weren't meant to be and you guys were so how can you fight that fair enough they were together for like two weeks oh, and- it's- yeah, no, come on. <laughs> you know, you do, you, that's as long as most relationships last in seventh grade. And so, exactly. I, yeah, so when we, she, you know, our, our relationship just kind of progressed down that road of yeah. we were best friends and also, so that's kind of my story. That's how I relate it to the song because otherwise I've not, you know, stolen anyone's man before <laughs> other than maybe that example. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. All right, so I think uh, I think people want to hear you sing your songs. Um, I think we should get into that right now and let you do your thing. For sure. All right, here we go. Hey, guys, my name's Olivia Penalva, and this first song is my brand new single, Exes, and it's all about stealing something that doesn't belong to you. So sincere, 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 sincere. I was thinking about leaving, making up a lie, but how to say goodbye to stop your boy from cheating, cheating, stop your boy from cheating. Stop pretending she's not sending fear straight to your phone. It's so tempting, no good ending with you and me alone. Tonight I'm kissing my ex best friend. This next song is my original song, Love Me, and it's all about being young and falling in love. 
song is my original song called No Rush and it's all about taking your time when healing. Ooh, hey, I've got a vote to shame I keep locked far away Things that I said and done I wish I Times it makes me scared of my back, but I acknowledge in life that every day's a fight with my feelings. Can't change overnight, but I'm healing. If the best that I can do is keep breathing, it's okay. There's no rush when you're healing. It's okay. There's no rush when you're healing. Wish I could flip a switch to my heart into stone Cause when I don't measure up, it stings to the bones Addicted to the feeling inside, the validation provides It's hard
Thank you guys so much for listening. I had the best time and I just want to give a special shout out to the Duncan Latte Lounge, iHeartRadio, and Z100. Thank you guys so much for having me. You're the best. Ah! <laughs> Welcome back to the virtual Duncan Latte Lounge. That was Olivia Panalva. Incredible sounding girl. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Oh my God. Blown away. Um, I have to ask you one more question since we are in the Dunkin' Latte Lounge. If you could have a Dunkin' Latte um, with anybody, past or present, artist, celebrity, anybody, um, who would it be? I've thought long and hard about this answer. I think this person would answer most questions like this, but it would be Elton John because oh. I'm huge fan a huge huge fan and i just feel like i would just love to sit and talk to him over coffee and and you know hear his story even though i've already watched every documentary and movie <laughs> movie that there is about him but yeah and you know what's cool about elton is he loves embracing younger artists That's yeah cool. i love that yeah I, i've seen he has a few you know collabs on spotify and stuff with young artists and i just love that because i think when you've been in the industry that long not a lot of people are as inclined to want to work with newer, younger artists. So I love that about him. Oh, yeah. And he's got stories to tell. Like, yeah. I feel like you don't even know half of the stuff that he's been through. Oh. <laughs> I, I actually, uh, I've been planning a Elton John cover for a while. And I purchased, like, full costume. I haven't done it yet. I, I've been hesitant just because I want it to be perfect. But uh, Okay, can you give us a hint on what song or no? You don't want to share. You don't have to. There may be more than one song involved in it. That's all I can say. I, I I love him so much that I was like, I have to just do this tribute. <laughs> yes, and I feel like if he sees it and he loves it, like he will give it love. Absolutely. That would be amazing. Yes. Yeah. Um, listen, I can't thank you enough for joining us. This was so much fun just getting to know you. Um, wait, when's the album coming out? You said you mentioned you have an album coming out. I don't have an answer for that yet. I wish I did. I'm, you know, right now we're just working on this single and then maybe a few other ones, but uh, the album's done. It's just a matter of when. But I appreciate this so much. It was so much fun. Of course. Well, we'll we want to keep up with you now. So um, you'll obviously give us updates and keep us posted. So shout out to the socials and, and all that stuff. For sure. My Instagram is Olivia Panalva. So is my Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and all that jazz. So thank you so much. And for even more on Olivia and want to rewatch her performance in this interview and all of the interviews and performances, check out DuncanLatteLounge.com and search us on socials, hashtag DuncanLatteLounge. I am Shelly Rome. That is Olivia Penelva. I got it right. I didn't get that <laughs> again. <laughs> and we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you so much, guys. Of course. To see more videos like this, check out DuncanLatteLounge.com. And if you're posting on social, use the hashtag DuncanLatteLounge.